Here's a deck chair for you. Oh, Rufus. We couldn't possibly accept that. Of course you can. But it must have been expensive. Ah, you can reimburse me later when you're back on your feet. I mean, who needs money when you can make someone happy? Wow, Rufus. I don't know what to say. How about thank you? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Rufus. And you'll get your money back. I promise. Now hurry. Uh, can I borrow the uh, space heater? Yeah, go ahead and take it. We're about to go lie in the sun. Oh boy, I can hardly wait. How many more times are you going to turn that crank? I don't know. Is there a limit? Yes, and you used it up. Oh, come on. Just one more time. Ah! All right. You get to turn that crank just one more time. But then, I want my crank back. Do you understand? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. What am I doing? Finally. Just stick it back on the organ, all right? Bingo bongo! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Are you going to play the monkey now? I wouldn't dream of it. Then leave my face alone. Unless, of course, you know someone who would be willing to take over the job. Let's see. Hmm, do I know someone who would like to play the dancing monkey for a monkey in the sewer? Hmm. I would also give you my first take as a finder's fee. Oh, maybe I'll come up with someone after all. Show them the fez. It's the only cool thing about the job. Go on. You know the game. Shoo! Thanks, Rufus. But all I want is to have my goo back. Yeah, but if you had a job, you could buy the crank from the organ grinder. Do you think so? That sleazy guy has already tried to hit on me more than once. What would I have to do? Well, just uh, support his act a bit. It's no big deal, really. Hmm. That doesn't sound too bad. Decided. You can discuss everything else with him. In the meantime, I'll find you a paying audience. Hey, snot noses! Come here! Hello again, unfair lady. Ah, the young father is back. I already told you, they aren't mine. They seem to think otherwise. Y yeah, but I, I didn't sign up for this. Oh, I believe you. If you want some good advice, Mama Cosima's hand-crochet Johnnies are extremely tear-resistant. The organ grinder has a new monkey. A new monkey, you say? Oh, I definitely have to see that. I hope the performance is really demeaning. <laughs> that would actually be worth five slotties to me.
<laughs> dance, little monkey, dance! <laughs> Shameful! That was truly awful! The poor girl! And I'm only giving her the five zlotties because I'm sorry for her. Do you hear that? The crowd is not pleased. So the next time, you need to look a bit more friendly. The next time? But we had an agreement. As soon as you earn the five zlotties, I get the crank. That's correct. But the five zlotties don't belong to me yet. I need them to pay off my expenses first. Expenses? What? Ah, Rufus, you've got to help me. The stupid monkey won't give me that crank because he claims he has to pay some kind of expenses. Well, yes, that's right. Go ahead, Rufus. Tell her. Uh, well, you know, uh... Rufus, but what are you doing? What does it look like? He's taking what he is due, his commission for successful job recruitment. Yeah, I, I, exactly. The, uh, commission. Does that mean you sold me? What? No, I, I wouldn't put it like that. Rufus, you sold me to a monkey, all the while acting like you wanted to help me. But I need that crank. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Can't you see how this money is making monkeys out of all of you? As if there wasn't anything more important in life than filthy lucre. You know, you should be grateful that I opened your eyes. I found you a job and taught you a valuable lesson. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as you stay true to your goals. Because the end justifies the meat. Which, strictly speaking, makes me a saint. Stop lounging about doing nothing. I've got a very interesting help wanted ad for you. Male assistant wanted. Burrito wrap salesman? Oh, Rufus, I don't know. What's this? A handsome applicant. Mm. <laughs> Burrito wraps, just one twenty-five zlotties a piece. <laughs> Bravo! Encore! Four burrito wraps, please. Four burrito wraps coming right up. That will be five zlotties. Come again any time to k k k I, uh, I think there's something wrong with your assistant. What? Has his system crashed? Uh, try turning him off and then on again. Burrito wraps. Just one twenty-five zlotties apiece. Ah, there we go. Please excuse the small glitch. No problem. It's so hard to find good employees these days.
Hey, snot faces, what about making yourselves useful? How? You could stick this conductive antenna into that outlet. You mad? You mustn't poke things into outlets. Oh, yada, yada, yada. You must have misunderstood. I've done it a thousand times. Here you go. And now? Hold on tight. Just wait. It's about to start. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Did you say something? No need to worry. Nothing happened to Uncle Rufus. It belongs in the socket next to that. For this, I need nothing but my fingers and the strong determination not to be overwhelmed by the dangerous swamp gas of trash culture. Remote control, easy chair, and potato chips wouldn't be a bad idea either. I've got an idea. Now all we need is electricity. It belongs in a museum! I mean, in an electrical outlet. Why, why did I say museum? Am I, am I going nuts? should go in there. Or alternatively, one of those handy power inverters that so far have been disappointingly rare in this game. A fuse should go in there. Or alternatively, Why doesn't electricity come in a variety of bright colors? Then I could always see when it's running, and I wouldn't have to feel for it every time. <laughs> Jubilee relation! What do you say now? This 
is definitely an ideal spot for a good night's sleep. Are you sure? Of course. It's out of the wind, it has a roof, and there are places to sit. What else could one ask for? Well, it has a certain menace, shall we say? It's good. You said it, Gretchen. Are there any guarantees that there are no dangerous monsters lurking in the dark? Monsters? <laughs> You're such a bunch of idiots. There's no such thing as monsters. Except, of course, for that giant insect that almost killed me a little while ago. God, you should have seen its teeth and those long legs. Disgusting. Ugh. It still creeps me out when I think about it. But that was over there, somewhere on the other side of those dark, far-apart pipes. <laughs> Where was I? You were trying to explain to us why this is a good place to spend the night. Oh, yeah, spend the night. Right. <laughs> it's, it's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, but... Save your breath. No yeah buts. You got light, you're warm, so there you go. Good night. Watch out, it's gonna get really comfortable now. For me at least, because your constant whining will come to an end. There, now go to sleep. I don't know. Now oh, come on, don't pretend to be more stupid than you already are. I mean, I know you're dumb, but you can't be too dumb to fall asleep. In that case, even those sleeping scorpions back there would be smarter than you. Oh wait, my bad. They're not actually sleeping, they're lurking. <laughs> and even without breaking it off. <laughs> this is definitely a first. And what I ask you could be tastier than meat in a light pastry crust. Mmm, smells delicious. Ah, a cooking show. Just the thing to make you fall asleep. You want me to read to you? Yay, eat to us. All right, listen up then. <coughs> what, what happened? You fell asleep after the first two sentences. Uncle Wolf is tired. No, it's all, it's all right. Dr. Gizmo said we should have it x-rayed, but Dad really wanted that new toaster. Do you want me to read to you? Yay, eat to us. All right, listen up then. <coughs> what, what happened? You fell asleep after the first two sentences. No, it's all, it's Dr. Gizmo said. Do you want me to read to you? Yay. All right. <coughs> what you? Uncle. No, it's Doctor Giz. Do you want me to read to? Yay. All right. <coughs> what? What? You fell asleep, Uncle. No, it's all Doctor Gizmo.
Hey, snot noses, here comes your grub. This will get you nice and tired. <laughs> Man, did they dig in. They only left one plate, and now they're asleep. Actually, they're kind of cute. <laughs> I could just eat them up. There it is! Hey, <laughs> there it is! The nucleic acid that I can use to grow gold up again. Luckily, the cylinder still seems to be in one piece, and the fish was already swimming in it. Hey, hands off! We don't serve that stuff here anymore. Why not? For one thing, I ran out of slime pipe mouldings. For another, the stuff has a bad effect on my customers. And it's hard enough running a pub without the customers flinging turtle shells at each other. As a witch, you must know a lot about mushrooms, right? I'm not a witch, you lout. Yeah, never mind that. Do you know if I can find a mushroom like this around here? It just so happens I do, yes. And which is it? One of these here? Three guesses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if that's all. Huh. You've got it with you, right? <laughs> you guessed right! Congratulations! Here, go ahead and take it. <laughs> Thanks! It's been itching like hell. Unattainable. Like the subject, but I'll think of something. I like that picture of Elysium. Can I have it? No. The picture stays where it is. It's important. What for? For the customers. Oh, I see. Because it cheers them up, right? On the contrary. It keeps them in a permanent state of dissatisfaction. But that's Elysium. The symbol of hope. Of a better life. A life of order and satisfaction. I'm sort of only one step away from it. Do you want something to drink first? Yeah, sure. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm working the tap. What else? Have you got the five slotties on you? What? You pay cash here? <laughs> How old-fashioned. Where I come from, I could just put the swill on my tab. Tab? Like some sort of loan. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Then my customers could drink a lot more. <laughs> You've grasped the principle. And I would earn a lot more. Yeah? I mean, yes, of course. That doesn't sound too bad. 
Help yourself. And if you bring my other customers something too, you're welcome to put a two slotty tip on the tab. Oh yeah, deal. Yeah, that's going to be tasty. I always said I had the makings of a bartender. Yeah, that's going to be tasty. I always said I had the makings of a bartender. Yeah, that's going to be tasty. I always said I had the makings of a bartender. Refills! Ugh, finally. What is this? I feel great! Bigger and stronger! <laughs> uh, maybe because you're standing on the table? Fantastic stuff! You go ahead and add a tip to the tab! Refills! Finally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is getting kind of warm in here. This may be the best swell I've had in ages. Refills! Finally. Hey, wait a sec. What you doing? Well, my job. I'm meeting customer demands. That's what the ancient Romans called service. Because only satisfied customers are paying customers. Right? Where do you hear that nonsense? This is a pub. People's dissatisfaction is my livelihood. If you keep on like that, I'll be ruined. The only thing that's your and here is your attitude. Take a look around. Fantastic <laughs> stuff. That will put hair on your chest. Yeah, if only it was just the chest. <laughs> mm, the best swill I've had in ages. Yoo-hoo! Hmm. <laughs> they actually look rather happy. Told you so. Heavens to Betsy! 